What's up guys, Layton here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Red Paladin on the 9.1 PTR. This is one of the last overviews we're going to have as Apache is actually coming out today, but unfortunately not for another four hours or so. So I made a Conduits video recently, and actually I did forget to mention something very, very important, which is uh, it's called Enhanced Conduits. That's what I'm going to call it for now. Uh, and what this is, is upon reaching uh, a specific renown level, let me skip up here, it's somewhere around, I believe it's 63 is the first enhanced conduit for Pelagos, Pelagos, whatever you want to call them. And it is the first conduit roll, uh, row will increase the damage or healing or some aspect of the conduit by a certain percentage and that percentage differs based on the conduits and some conduits are way more enhanced than others and what i mean by that is take a look at uh ringing clarity so for example i have an item level 200 ringing clarity and that will cause divine toll to have a 64 percent chance to cast up to three additional times on the main target uh well this is also nerfed in pvp so that's that's the pve three additional times now, what it's supposed to be is a 56% chance. So we're getting an 8% chance increase on the enhanced Pelagos row right here. Now, it's different based on the conduit we have in there. So let's go ahead and take out this conduit. Hopefully we have, we'll have enough en energy, conduit energy to test by the time we're done. Now let's stick in our Templar's Vindication. So my base Templar's Vindication is 213 item level, 45% chance to strike again for 30% additional damage it in there right now so now it goes up by six percent chance on templars verdict on on the templars of indication up to a 51 percent chance uh we can take a look at some other conduits so this is something that i went to test immediately upon uh discovering enhanced conduits was true sway because it's my highest conduit i have a 226 true sway i'm like oh my god is this going to get a massive percent damage increase and <laughs> the answer is absolutely not this only goes up to 23.4 percent that's like barely a three percent increase like not even off of the off of already being a 226 so we're still gonna ignore true sway for now uh yeah expurgation has the potential to be really good um it scales pretty well in terms of increasing the burn damage but at the same time we run into the issue of we need to stack crit and master at the same time then we can't get versatility and blah 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 so expurgation is kind of you know out until maybe the last patch of shadowlands we'll see uh and virtuous command hardly scales at all as well um it gets roughly a percent increase when it is a uh, 200 item level so the next thing i want to check after this on the enhanced conduits is does it matter the rank of the conduit for example if i have a lower item level conduit will it scale higher or lower based on uh you know is it 200 item level 184 213 and the answer is no they are all flat rate uh for example let me show you real quick with uh templos vindication so i have a 213 templos vindication giving a uh what was it a six percent increase on the enhanced conduit now let's compare it with a uh a 200 item level right here i believe this guy is a 200 item level vindication i have so many different snapshots of my character on the ptr from different tests of of different months on the ptr like i started these guys in what end of february i think that's when ptr came out so let's look at this one this is a 200 item level vindication enhanced right here up to a 48 percent chance to strike again for 30 percent of the damage uh this right here the baseline is 42 percent so that again is a six percent damage or a six percent chance increase and then we'll go to our last one right here which has a 184 conduit and excuse me gotta have that iced coffee right now it is melting up oh, everyone is uh is is keeping nice and cold because there's a giant heat wave everywhere in the world right now so we're going to go ahead and unsocket our uh ring and clarity which i also did the same test for ring and clarity by the way i'm just keeping it consistent with the vindication and we have a 184 vindication right here enhanced for a 45 percent chance to strike again and the baseline is 39 percent chance so again a six percent increase across the board of all the potency conduits i tested the best scaling ones are currently already our best conduits which are ringing clarity and 
Temple's Vindication. These two scale between six and eight percent each uh, of an increase. And imagine if you have a 226 and you're getting a, uh, another eight percent increase on the ring clarity. Plus, we're going to be able to increase it further later on in the patch. It's going to be crazy. We're going to we're going to reach. I think that cap is 96 percent is the highest it can go, which all the way back in uh, Shadowlands beta. I was talking about how it's going to be crazy as, as ring clarity scales up. We're going to get the guaranteed hits. Um, so I got to get working on the mall. I have done a lot of farming and a lot of burning out on, on getting a ring clarity on my main. Um, my main horde ret right now. We'll have laid it up, up to date. That's why I named him up. But yeah, in addition to the... Um, Enhanced potency. Obviously, the other conduits are going to be enhanced as well. I'm out of range. Yeah, open them up right here. So, this one right here, not a huge deal. The Guardian of the King's cooldown for Ret, at least, it's not going to reduce it anymore. It used to before the nerf. Um, it will still access the Word of Glory when you proc the Reign of Endless King's legendary, but you know, obviously, the the scaling effect on the enhanced conduit does not work for Ret. Um, in terms of the finesse conduits. Let's go ahead and, for example's sake, let's uh, take a 70% feed duration increase and toss it into this finesse slot right here. It becomes 80% increased. So we, this patch, we are going to be able to more than double Divine Steed's duration. So I believe with a max rank conduit, you can end, end the enhanced ability. It's going to be somewhere close to like 7.5 seconds, 8 seconds uh, of Divine Steed, a single Divine Steed. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be awesome. Um, we could actually get like rooted, a brief root, or, you know, have a freedom on a slow and the GCD doesn't take one third of the Divine Steed away. Um, what else? Pure concentration. Let's take a look at this. 34%. Very, very poor scaling conduit right here. Very poor scaling. Um, let me go ahead and increase our... Are renowned even further we're gonna go for the next highest upgrade which is 66 so we get our second row enhanced right here the so shielding words increases on a 200 item level conduit to 24 percent and now i believe that is very poor scaling as well let's see here yeah 21 percent so a three percent increase it's not that bad it's actually not that bad it could be worse um this this will feel nice, especially because Word of Glory is getting nerfed in PvP. At least this patch, uh, we still aren't gonna have very many additional good conduits. Like all our conduits that are bad right now are gonna kind of remain bad. The one thing I did talk about last conduit video is Divine Call. So this is going to further increase the scaling for Divine Call as we get a much higher Divine Call and toss it in right here. So thirty six seconds. That immediately makes the Divine Call so much more attractive than it already is. Um, so I could potentially see myself going the right side conduit build now, which I talked about last video, where I would put a, uh, you know, we'll put a light sparting up here, a Divine Call right here, a Ring Clarity right here, and uh, where is it here? Shielding Words can go down here. Take this conduit tree, this conduit tree, this conduit tree, this conduit tree. We're going to take our, where is our Templar's Vindication? We're going to move our Templar's Vindication, actually. Move it down to here. And our last finesse can be Echoing Blessings, which we'll remove from here. Place it down here. And this right here could be a potential really good build. Oh, I did miss. I uh, thought I socketed Divine Tall, uh, Divine Call. All right, right here. So this could be a potential really well scaling conduit build for Ret. It does ignore the fact that uh, you know we gain access to a third potency conduit with Virtuous Command, but again, it's not that great of a conduit because it can't overwrite itself. So say for example, you toss a Judgment, you Blade of Justice into a Seraphim, then Wings, Divine Toll, that's within the five seconds of the very first Judgment's Virtuous Command proc. 
and the divine toll will not overwrite that buff unfortunately so you'll be doing your fattest burst with no virtuous command proc anyway so this is a very low uh low scaling and low damage increased conduit i could be wrong but when you get a high um divine call and have it in an enhanced row it could significantly drop your bubble cooldown um this could be the move. And then you gain access to an additional real defensive with the file of patience, providing a 55% heal over 10 seconds. This could be a this could be a very solid setup right here. And every row does get enhanced eventually. It's gonna take a lot of renown grinding, several weeks. Honestly, you could probably find out how many weeks exactly on Wowhead. I'm not gonna go ahead and and think think through how long it's gonna take. It's probably gonna be like months maybe eight weeks or something. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash PvP. You can support the channel down below. Uh, I am currently doing this as a full-time job um, just because, you know, it's summer break for my, for my current work. So you'll be seeing more streams on Twitch. Um, yeah, that's about it. Stay, stay uh, safe. Hey, cool, insanely hot heat wave right now. It's like real feel 105 outside and I don't have an AC. I am melting. All right, guys, see you next video. Peace.